What's up, YouTube? Z-Truck7 here with Joe Franzo. He topped, uh, what'd you get? Top? Top 32 at Chicago this past weekend. I went, um, where'd I go? I went X1 in Swiss. Last round, I got paired up against the undefeated, and uh, he wanted to play for it. So, uh, yeah, I beat him, and then I was fourth overall in Swiss. Then I played against uh, Hector Harris, um, who misplayed terribly against me game three. Uh, but I mean, he still had way more stuff than me, so I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't win. So. What was he, what was he running? Yeah, mirror match. Is uh, mirror match is by far the hardest. Yeah. I would rather play. I played like infinite rabbits, and I was fine. But I would much rather play rabbit than like yeah. mirror match. It's so stupid. All right. But so. Uh, yeah, so I ran his vectors, and um, yeah, I'm gonna start off with the monsters. These are three tour guides, uh, which I borrowed from Angel Asensio, the guy that he also got top eight on my channel, uh, Joe Frazzo Seven with. Um, he topped with uh, Rabbit over there, but yeah, he let me borrow two of guys. Oh, he, went, he went too? He yeah, he, no, show? he didn't, he didn't go, but he just let me borrow before I oh, okay. head out. So yeah, these are three tour guides. Um, oh, just turn them the other way. So oh yeah, there you go. Three tour guides, really, really good. Helps you get the sang in. Uh, you know, three Dragonfly, uh, three Centipede. These guys are all self-explanatory, three Hornet. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then I use, uh, I'll save that for the end. Uh, Gigamanis, Gores. Uh, Sangan, all that staple. I set this guy out um, a lot because like it's not good against the Zector and windups, and for some reason I'm like a windup magnet. Like <laughs> I just play infinite windups, and even against Rabbit, they're gonna make Doka. They always make Doka, so like it just sucks. You know, yeah. it just it doesn't do anything. So uh, if you if you take it out most of the time, like why do you even main? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll explain something at the end of the video right. about some stuff. Uh, then I have Triple Valor. Oops, Triple Valor. I valored so many rabbits and it was like, it felt so good. Like, and then I would like summon a, summon a horde to activate and then they would just like be forced to like try to stop it and then you attack and mm -hmm. kill the rabbit because it's yeah. only 300. So, um, yeah, three valor is like, I feel like three valor is like standard in every deck. And uh, yeah, and then I use uh, BLS. So yeah, if three valor is standard every deck and everyone's tour guide, there's no reason not to run this guy. Mm -hmm. um, he won me so many games against rabbit. Cause they're always gonna make Doka, so I'm gonna just drop this guy, kill a Doka, kill whatever. Then they just set. If they don't have Lance or whatever, if they don't have Lance, they just lose. So he's just gonna remove their guy. They have to have an out for him, otherwise he's gonna like, kill them. This guy's really, really good. Um, so yeah, you only side him out in the matches you side out Valor. And then double Hopper. So what you do with Hopper is you go like summon this guy or summon this guy, use his effect. So you go equip send, get him, equip send. So I had to horn it to my hand and then overlay and make his enemies. That's like so good. And also, when your opponent, like, let's say they crow your Hornet, yeah. um, if you have a Hopper engraved, you can still do stuff. Like, you still have options. You can bring guys out. You can search a sword to your hand. So he's really, really good. Um, and he actually has attack power, which is the difference between him and the Ladybug. Even though the Ladybug opens up, like, a shitload of, like, uh, options for the deck as well, um, I still think Hopper's a card that, you know, he's still a good card. Uh, and then for spells like a Dark Hole, Alert, I fucking side this card out every time. I hate this card, but you have to run it because sometimes you draw all monsters. Um, Heavy Storm, Foolish, Book of Moon, uh, Monster Reborn, and then one duality. This is the one I actually made. It could have been either a Mind Control um, or a Dark Arm or a Fiendish Chain, but I decided to go with duality because like I didn't want to lose any matches because I couldn't get to my Hornet. Mm -hmm. I, I could always get the Hornet. Uh, I never had a problem not drawing a Hornet the whole tournament, so I'm like thankful that you know I can say that. Uh, double Sword. This card's really good. It helps you OTK. Uh, you just equip on the Dragonfly, and if you have another guy's effect or he hasn't used his effect, you just keep popping it and searching. And then Triple MST. Uh, MST in this deck, I feel like it should be, for sure, it should be at threes, because you can go like, um, not only does it kill a back row, but you can like equip a sword, right? Mm -hmm. To like a centipede, and then you can like space it and search. And you haven't used centipede's effect yet. Yeah. But you can equip uh, and then blow something up and then search. So it just makes up for everything. Um, it's really, really good. And then for the spells, um, I use double torrential, which I feel like everybody should run. Double solemn, uh, solemn judgment. And then I use double call. Uh, but I sided these out a lot. Because, uh, like against Rabbit, I'd rather have something to deal with their, the Doka um, mm -hmm. than uh, have Call. Yeah. I'd rather, or against Windups, I'd rather have Phoenix Chain. Against Mirror Match, this just gets popped. So I started it out against all those matches. I kept it in, uh, I don't even know if I kept it in against Heroes. I did keep it in against one match, though. I think it was Heroes. 
because you just want to find ways to... No, actually I didn't because I put in decrease. So, yeah, I just started out a lot. I don't even know why, if I should be maining it. Uh, Regeki Break seems like a good card right now. No priority, anyway. Side deck, we got um, Triple Crow. Um, I didn't use them that much. I only played one Dragon. I played a lot. I played a couple of Mirror Mats, so I use it in that. Uh, I put it in against Windup to stop the loop. But I actually just draw Valor. I never draw a Crow, so... Um, it's still really good. I didn't play Dark World, but I would definitely use it against Dark World. I'm still going to side 3 until someone gives me a reason not to. Uh, double Bottomless. I only put it in going first against Rabbit and against Heroes. Um, and against Windups, because you can get stops in Mighty. I don't put it against Mirror. Uh, yeah, it's, it's good. Um, yeah, Bottomless is alright. And then I got uh, double, double Decree. Uh, I don't know why people like dust over decree. It makes no sense. You want to try to randomly dust, or wait till they chain their card yeah. to dust your, you know, the, you want to dust the shadow mirror, or you want to just shut off all the back rows, you know? Or some people are uh, citing traps and just uh, while building. I don't, I don't understand why you would cite traps. And yeah, they can. The only argument is that they can MST this, um, but if they don't have that card, okay, they have to have the card. The card has to be set when you play it. Yeah. Otherwise, they're gonna just lose. You're yeah. just gonna destroy them. So. There's been games where like I won't even have, uh, I won't even have really any move. I'll just be sitting on like a Zen Maze or something. But I'll have a decree and like all the back rows are just nothing. You yeah. know, they'll have like a stupid hero looking at me. So um, decree, I feel like is infinitely better than those cards. I said double Raikou because my friend Robbie told me like it's better than Snowman. But I did this did get Guaybud, which got me angry because you know if it was Snowman, I would have just killed the guy. But this does help pop back rows. Um, and he's a life for BLS, uh, so Reiko's good. He's a good card, and he can help me with Hornet. But like I said, I didn't have a problem getting to it. <laughs> yeah, and then um, double D Fizzer uh, for dragons. If you get it first turn against dragons and they don't have a way to kill it, like they just they just can't they can't win. Yeah. Uh, Dark World, and that's really the only matches that I I bring it against. Uh, Spear Reaper. Just one. My buddy Jerry Jerry Williams was like, oh, just run it. Uh, over the snowman because like he's a wall he's a dark he has a good effect it helped me in the finals he stayed in the field for a long or the, or the the final round of swiss um so yeah reaper's good and reaper in this deck they go together because like you blow up cards you clear the row field and you get to the hand with reaper yeah. so they just lose everything and then mind control for a mirror match um i think i want to main this card because like i use triple valor so i can synchro with whatever if, yeah. if i have to otherwise you can just overlay uh, and there's a lot of mirrors, so I feel like Mind Control is a really good card. And against Rabbit, you can take the Dolka, use the effect of like a guy and Dolka have it negate himself. And then, okay, these are Phoenix Chains, um, which I was borrowing from someone, uh, but I had to give them back. So Trap Pull is really good for Mirror. And um, I, you could put it, I wouldn't really put it against Windups. Uh, just Mirror and like other decks that rely on their normal summon. Um, so you guys can decide what. You want to do with that, and then uh, mainly mirror match, and then okay. I use three synchros, um, armory arm because he's a light and he's really good, and all my guys are threes. And you can attach it to like an insector, and then like uh, you know pop it. Like you can make this guy pop it, and then I get two searches or whatever. So this card's really really good. Uh, Cataster. Um, I actually had the opportunity to go for game with this card, but I read that my opponent had a Phoenix chain, so I didn't go for it, and he ended up having it. And then Scrap Dragon because I run Gores and three Valors, so like your token's gonna be weak anyway, so you're just gonna summon and you get synchro with it. Um, so yeah, just because I have Valors, I gotta be able to make stuff. And then I use two of these guys. So good. Uh, you bring them out a lot actually, so I would yeah. not. Um, you get crowed a lot, so you gotta get your Hornet back. And if you like Allure, or some, what I love doing is like summon BLS, remove a Dragonfly, and then summon Tour Guy to make yeah. this guy, and then bring it back, and it's just like so overkill. And then I use two Leviathans, because like, you know, when you go for OTK, sometimes you need them, and it's good against Rabbit. Uh, and you go Tour Guide, Sangan, um, Detach, that Call the Haunted, which I didn't do because I set out Call all the time. Giga Brink, because he's a light, and he helps, and you have multiple guys, it's more damage than just getting 700. And another, another light target. Yeah, he's, yeah. Uh, I use these two for absolutely no reason. <laughs> I mean, did you never make them? People, no, I never made them. People I told love me. this guy. I, I never bring them out. So, I mean, the, why would I bring these out and risk getting Valor? You know, it's just like, I mean, well, they would have Valor earlier. Yeah. They would have Valor earlier, but still, like, I just, I don't like these. I would rather they're gonna come out next to anyway because you're gonna put more level fives on the deck. But 
that's a different video. <laughs> that was Z-Truck talk, talk to you guys about. Um, I use these two, didn't bring them out the whole weekend just because I run Hopper. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's it for those. And then this guy and this guy, okay. This guy won me a match against Acid Golem, and I guess the same guy I won a match because of Acid Golem. Um, so you summon this guy, you take off his materials, and now they have a stupid wall on the field that doesn't let them... Uh, he can't, they can't special, and he can't attack. So they just, they just die, you know? And if they're not playing mirror match, they virtually have no way to get him off the field, so they just lose. Um, and also one of my opponents, like, he didn't know what this guy did. So he made a Leviathan, he tried to attack. So in battle step, I use the effect to take off a material, yeah. to pump him to 27, and then kill the Leviathan. So, um, yeah, you should know what your cards do. And then one Zen means, uh, I kind of want to bump it up to two. There was only one time when I felt like I needed it. Um, but yeah, you definitely need a Zen mains in there, period. But yeah, that's it for the deck. Um, so yeah, that's it for the deck. <laughs> well, just a quick question. Like, go ahead. I've noticed a lot of people stop running Lance. Why? Why do you think that is? Uh, Lance is actually really good. I played the guy played uh, the last round of Swiss day one. He he lanced my Phoenix chain and he just destroyed me with it. It's it's a good card because um, it can stop bottomless and stuff. But like, you don't want to have Lance and like Valor, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, like they Valor you and then you have Lance and it's like, oh, what am I gonna do with this Lance? It's not Dragonfly is not strong enough. To protect them, it's good with centipede, but um, Lance is a good card. You can cite it if you want. It's just preference. Like I don't have any experience with that card, so I don't play it. But um, I definitely feel like insectors are going to change completely. Like I personally, I really like the triple card card D triple ladybug version. Uh, you can go like first turn dragonfly, make a tyrus, and search you know whatever you want to your hand, and you're on three dualities. So like you're always going to have like uh, you're always going to get to the cards that you need when you want them. So. Um, I definitely feel like insectors are going to be there for a while, but yeah, that's that's the deck. All right, guys, uh, subscribe to Joe Franzo. Joe Franzo Seven. I, I got a... interviews with like a bunch of other pro players and like deck videos and stuff like that. So yeah, so I'm gonna put a link like somewhere up here. So just click on that, go to his channel, subscribe, watch his videos, and all that good stuff. All right, guys, thanks. All right, peace.